All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, brethren, that are pushing this word in truth and sincerity and in charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago. All right, going to do a quick in transit video. And uh, what I want to talk about is pretty much uh, a video that I seen from Apostle Gabar and also the other Malcolm as well. Uh, the Apostle Gabar's video, uh, what he was going into was a uh, path and purpose. All right, path and purpose. And what he went into was pretty much um, obviously our path and our purpose being this truth and these scriptures All right, but he also mentioned that uh, about that whole MGTOW movement and uh, the whole Manosphere movement that is uh, pretty popular now and um, how all those content creators pretty much tell tell uh, the men to have a path and a purpose alright but according to this world alright according to this worldly view now us here in the truth alright don't have that mentality because we know what is destined for America what is destined for the rest of the world all right and the destiny of america is destruction man this place is going to be a de a desert according to isaiah the 13th chapter all right this place is going to be nothing but a desert filled with nothing but animals all right that live in a fucking desert man all right from the nuclear destruction that's going to be of this place all right, so we're not looking to be here long term. We don't look. We don't look at it as uh, us being here long. All right, Micah two and ten says uh, to depart, for this is not your 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 rest, because it is polluted, and it will dis destroy you with a sore destruction. So we don't want to be here because it's polluted. All right, the book of Second Ezra talks about how this place is overflowed. With wickedness. Okay. Second Ezra 4. And I believe starting at 28. It talks about how the evil seed. Is. Uh, has been planted in this earth. Okay. And you can't plant the good. And you can't uproot the evil. Out of this earth man. Okay. So we, we're not looking to be here. Forever. We're looking and our conversation is in the heavens. Okay. We're looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. As it says in the book of Hebrews. Okay. That's what we're looking for. That's. We're looking for the coming and hasting. In the coming of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Alright. Because when he comes. He's going to put all rule under his feet. He's going to take all the crowns. From all the kings of the earth. And he's going to be the king of kings. Alright. And then the earth will be ruled. In righteousness. Alright. That's what we're waiting for. And this is our purpose. Alright. The most I said he hath called you. Out of uh, this darkness. Unto his marvelous light. According to his purpose. And his will. Okay, he sanctified us to be a prophet, as it says in the book of Jeremiah 1 and 10. All right, before you were in the belly, I knew thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay, Isaiah 58 says, To cry aloud, spare not, and show my people their transgressions. Okay, uh, in the Gospels, Yahweh Shai, the parable, all right, go to the highways and hedges and compel them. And bid them to the marriage. Alright, there's a marriage between Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel, man. 
all right to put your wedding garments on don't be found out here naked all right and all that is uh metaphorical man all right to be clothed with this knowledge truth and understanding all right because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times all right not money not your business not your woman not your family okay and uh that's what what the uh, the elder malcolm malcolm's video that i seen as well all right to f that this truth is our priority and to not worry about our wives and our family and our children's that when you focus on this truth as your number one priority then everything else will fall in order okay but if you're out of balance guess what everything's not going to be in order everything's going to be out of order all right there's going to be a lot of hectic things going on in your life if you don't have um everything in your life in order you got to Just um, have this truth as your number one priority. All right, everything has to come second. Okay, and you have to show the Most High that through your actions and what you're doing and your fruits. Okay, a tree is known by its fruits. All right, what a what kind of fruits does the tree possess? All right, and produce. All right, and we know Yahweh Shai. All right, made that tree wither away for not having any fruit we don't want to be that tree that bears no fruit okay all right the most high is a jealous god the most high is a jealous god man and if he sees that you're not um into this like you are everything else you know, he's going to spew you out of out of his mouth, man. Our Apostle Tahar just did that uh, very heavy, heavy exhorting video, man. How that we all must show the same diligence and to make our calling and election short. Or to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, and it starts with, with uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. All right, what are you going to do about it? All right, so. <clears throat> Other than that, man, you know, I just wanted to talk to you brothers about that. All right, because uh, obviously that's what the, the spirit is bringing out right now. All right, if you're in tune with the spirit, you'll and you're watching the videos of all the elders and apostles and what they're talking about. You know, all this is coming out for a reason. All right, because we're in that time. We're in that time, man. We're in the end of this. All right, America is not gonna last too long. America's not gonna last too long. Alright, and we here in the truth know that. So how, how much more shall we be into this? Alright, pushing more, doing more. Alright. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off there. And I'm gonna go ahead and end it off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Lord willing, it was exhorting and uplifting to you, Akim. Until next time, I say shalom.